Hey everybody, I'm going to talk to you about something serious. I was just listening to some uh, comments by Roger Waters from Pink Floyd <clears throat> regarding uh, the Spanish election and I guess approving a constitution in that country. Um, he was uh, referring to Chile, sorry to be exact. And it got me thinking. Now, some of you may or may not know uh, I was uh, knee deep in politics for 20 years on Parliament Hill, Canada. I uh, photographed for a particular party. Uh, I did all their candidate photos for an election that they won. Uh, I also did the uh, photos for the same political party in 2019. But I've always tried to remain unbiased. I've had special interest groups ask me to back them or you know, give them shout outs and stuff like this. And even so they were my friends and I did believe in what they were doing, I always said no uh, because I didn't know where they were going. And if they did something inappropriate, <clears throat> my name would be hitched to that horse. And <clears throat> I wasn't prepared for that. I've always tried to remain unbiased. I have friends from all parties. Um, and I voted many different ways. That being said, I like to say this to some of the celebrities out there that have bolstered Trudeau over the years. And this is coming from somebody who was friends with him. Uh, I've driven him in my car many times. We get along well. Um, and it, so it breaks my heart to even talk about this. But his party has done stuff that I would consider being evil. Uh, they've con uh, they constantly trample on constitutional rights. We have two people in this country that I know of that I would consider political prisoners. Uh, the courts have done nothing. Now, that being said, all those celebrities have, you know, uh, bolstered this guy. And now I associate them with basically helping somebody trample constitutional rights for millions of people. Uh, he's basically terrorized a good chunk of this country. And a lot of people are in a constant state of terror. They go to bed thinking about this. It bothers them. It's affected their business. Um, you know, they've made decisions that have even ended people's lives, broken up families, whatnot. If you're a celebrity, if you're somebody who's in a position of power, think careful about with any party. I don't care Democrat, Republican, Liberal Party of Canada, Green Party, Conservative. Think about what happens when those parties start doing something inappropriate. Even special interest people, you know, when they start going outside your moral and ethical boundaries, now you're associated with them. I warned my conservative friends years ago about supporting, I think it was one of the German parties. Oh, supporting the, uh, the Republicans in the States that said, no, just because you're conservative doesn't mean you have an obligation to report or to uh, support the Republican Party in the U.S. I said, what happens when that Republican Party goes and passes some law or makes somebody makes a comment saying, you know, all black people should be jailed or, you know, Mexicans or whatever, uh, thieves and murderers. Now you're associated with that. And how do you backtrack from that? You know, I'm sure lots of Americans love the National Socialist Party of Germany back in the 30s. And then they're inextricably tied to that. You can't live that down. You know, uh, Henry Ford is a Nazi sympathizer forever. All you had to do is say, hey, you like this guy, and now you're fucked. So the point is, really think hard if you're a person of public interest before you go and hitch your horse up to any old cart. You don't know where that cart's been or where it's going because you're no longer in control of that cart. So as for Roger Waters supporting a lot of these issues for trashing Trump constantly, maybe you should think about who the other choice is in this matter. It was either Trump or Hillary Clinton. You know, yes, the Hillary Clinton, whose husband was on the Lolita Express, allegedly molesting underage children in a prostitution ring constantly. Uh, the same 
group of people who stole money from Haitians affected by the earthquake, like $600 million that was meant to build houses. My friend Andre Forget photographed the earthquake literally 24 hours after it happened. And you have no idea how horrible it is. And the pictures were um, mind boggling. And yet people are willing to, celebrities are willing to hitch their horse to that fucking terrible cart. Come on. So <clears throat> when people say celebrities should not get involved in politics, I used to be against it, but you can go ahead and do it. But it's to your own peril because now as much as I love Roger Waters' music, and I think he's brilliant, it makes me angry when I see him trashing some of these people, but it's his right to do so. But it's also my right to feel sick that, you know, the alternative is far worse sometimes. Either way, that's my rant for today, the working man rant. We'll talk more later. It's been a while, so let's keep this up.